Coming up on Around Kern County, the November election is right around the corner. We're sharing what you need to know leading up to November 8th. And Kern BHRS and Human Services are working together to support Kern County resource families. We're spotlighting their important partnership when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. We're just a few weeks away from the November election and we want to make sure you're prepared to cast your vote. Here's what you need to know. Kern County Elections has mailed out ballots and sample ballots. If you're a registered voter and have not received your ballot, please go to kernvote.com to request a replacement. You can also make that request in person at the Kern County Elections Office. And if you're planning to vote by mail, ballots can be returned at the Elections Office located at 1115 Truxton Avenue in Bakersfield, Monday through Friday during business hours. Ballots can also be returned to our official ballot drop boxes located throughout the county. For those locations, again, please visit kernvote.com. And if you're planning to vote in person, you can visit the elections office starting right now through election day. Or you can cast your vote at your designated poll site on election day. Those details can also be found at kernvote.com. Now, if you still need to register to vote, here's what you need to do. They can register until October 24th and still receive a mail ballot. After the 24th, starting on the 25th, they can still register. It's called conditional registration. They'll have to come into our office starting the 25th through Election Day, Monday through Friday, normal working hours. They can also uh, register conditionally on Election Day at any poll site and, as I mentioned, in our office. There's a lot of hard work and our intention is to make sure that voters have accurate information, um, timely information to make their decision and to have their voice heard. And if you're looking for another way to get involved with the election, Anna Marie Odo with our Office of Countywide Communications has those details. The 2022 general election is right around the corner. You can help be a part of democracy by volunteering to be a poll worker. The Kern County Elections Division is inviting the community to experience this rewarding opportunity and do something good for our country. A poll worker, also known as an elections officer, is a volunteer who works at a local poll site on election day. Duties range from welcoming voters and guiding them through the voting process to assisting with closing polls at the end of the night. Poll workers will also earn a stipend for their time. To see if you are eligible to volunteer and to apply, please visit kernvote.com and sign up on the poll worker portal. The Kern County Department of Human Services works to support children and families in foster care. While sometimes being a resource parent can be challenging, it is truly one of the most rewarding experiences. Being a foster parent is a really rewarding experience. You help kids that have lived pretty difficult lives and help reunite them with their families so that they can, they can live a typical life again. That's why partnerships like Behavioral Health and Recovery Services Kern County Treatment Foster Care Organ Program are so important by giving these families the support they need to be successful and change lives. PFCO is, um, gives an opportunity for youth who are at risk. You know, teenage youth are hard to place, and so the beauty of this program is we really work with placing at-risk youth between the ages of 12 and 18, so it gives those youth an opportunity to reunify home. I think the most rewarding thing about being a TFCO parent is watching this kid grow and change, watching them apply some of the things that they've learned, like how to meditate, how to um, control their anger, how to, how to um, communicate better with their parents. I think that is the most rewarding thing, to watch them change. The TFCO program we had won, um, problem was it wasn't just him. Um, he came along with his dog. You know, he was real shy. He wouldn't talk to nobody. Um, with the program, he came out of his shell. He still calls us today. <laughs> yes, he has. Just giving them hope and love and patience. 
TFCO is needed in this community. We have teens who are struggling and they need to get back home. That's the most important thing. We need to get these families reconnected. As a resource family, all you can do is love them, treat, treat them as if they're your own. Um, they're a joy more than they're hurt. I work with the resource parents because they have um, kids more than likely with behaviors. So I come in ready to support the foster parent. Um, they can call me, text me. Um, I'm always in a know because um, we have our weekly meetings, our clinical meetings for the TFCO program. So I always know what's going on in the home. If you're interested in becoming a Kern County Treatment Foster Care Parent, um, just go ahead and give me a call at 661-868-8358. And then I'd love to share more about the Kern TFCO program. And we're ending today's show with a fun Halloween event happening next week. Anna Marie Odo is here again with a wrap up. Children and families are invited to 3rd District Supervisor Mike Maggard's annual Trunk or Treat event on Friday, October 28th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. in Oildale. This safe and sane Halloween event is in partnership with Lifehouse Church and the Oildale Community Action Team. Trick-or-treaters will meet north of Chester Avenue, Frontage Road north of Norris Road. This event is free for kids who are encouraged to dress up and wear costume. For more information or to learn how to join in on the holiday fun, please contact Supervisor Mike Maggard's office at 661-868-3670. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.